Okay, the first goniometry that we're going to do for the shoulder is going to be shoulder flexion. Normal flexion is 180 degrees. Uh, this we're going to do in a supine position and we're going to have the patient slide to the uh, edge of the table as much as possible uh, so that we can get the, the tip of the um, uh, goniometer. Uh, the fulcrum for this is going to be um, at, through the head of the humerus or, or just lateral to the greater tubercle and the stationary arm is going to be in line with or parallel to the thorax or parallel to the table or floor and then the moving arm is going to be aligned with the uh, humerus okay or all the way to the lateral epicondyle and again the key thing here is to you know, make sure that you can read the numbers on your side and make sure that you maintain alignment throughout the uh, range of motion. So I'm going to have her move uh, into uh, flexion of the shoulder and if she gets into full flexion I want to make sure that this is maintained. My fulcrum and my moving arm is in line with the humerus and then I can take my reading. Uh, which is 180 degrees. Exconeometry that we're going to do is going to be for extension or hyperextension of the shoulder. In this case we're going to have her uh, prone on the table and again with her shoulder that you're testing on the, on the side and the elbow extended and just like flexion um, the uh, fulcrum is going to be in line with the uh, to the head of the hum humerus um, or just lateral to the greater tubercle. The stationary arm is going to be uh, parallel to the thorax or to the ground and then the moving arm is going to be in line with the humerus, midline of the humerus. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and have her move into hyperextension or extension of the shoulder as far as you can, again, make sure that the fulcrum, stationary arm are all lined up. And this should be, um, the average for this is 60 degrees. Next we're going to do, uh, for goniometry, we're going to do internal or medial rotation of the shoulder. And this can be uh, measured with her in a supine position and she has uh, abducted her shoulder to 90 degrees and she's also flexed her, her elbow to 90 degrees and I've also put uh, a towel underneath uh, the humerus to help uh, elevate it to make it uh, in line um, with the scapula. Uh, the going on the fulcrum for this is going to be in line with the olecranon process and the stationary arm is going to be perpendicular to the floor or to the table and then the moving arm is going to be uh, along the midline of the ulna. Okay. So once we have those landmarks we're going to go ahead and have our Move forward. Again, we can use this to the styloid process if we need to. And then the average measurement for this is uh, 70 degrees for internal or medial rotation. We can also do uh, external rotation uh, starting at the same position, 90 degrees abduction 90 de of the shoulder, 90 degrees flexion of the elbow. Again, using the uh, lecranon process as your fulcrum and the stationary arm is going to be perpendicular to the floor or table and the moving arm is going to be along the ulna with the styloid process as uh, another la landmark. And then we're going to have her move into external rotation. Again, trying to uh, maintain those landmarks uh, when we measure it. 
uh, and this is about uh, 90 degrees. Okay. Uh, abduction, abduction, and I'm going to have her uh, her arm in uh, extended and an anatomical position um, at her side. Uh, the fulcrum for this is going to be. Uh, again, right through the center of the, um, the head of the humerus. Uh, the, the stationary arm is going to be uh, parallel to the thorax or perpendicular to the floor or table. Uh, the moving arm is going to be along the midline of the humerus as she moves. And then again, we want to maintain those. Um, go ahead and move into abduction. Again, we want to make sure that everything stays parallel to all your landmarks. And normal for this is 180 degrees. 